Hi, I'm Matthew Bazan. And I'm Sajana Thea. I'm Trey Bunsen Piper. Uh, oh, well, hello, I'm Matthew Bazan. I'm Sajad Alfayet. I'm still Trey Bunsen Piper. And welcome to yet another edition of Falcon News. Or shall I say, the first one of 2016. Let's see what our principal got to say. Welcome back, students and, and staff, um, to our second semester of our school year. Just a reminder that this uh, semester really goes really fast. Usually second semester flies. Next you know, all seniors will be graduating in five months. So seniors, please start making arrangements for that, that, that special moment. At this time, I'm, I'm happy to announce that also Saturday, tutoring is gonna start this, uh, it's gonna start again. Make sure you attend to all Saturday from eight o'clock to 12 o'clock or from eight to 10 or 10 to 12. But make sure you attend to Saturday so you can raise your grades. Also, another reminder I would like to share with you is that um, we're going to have our winter sport, our, our spring sports starting soon. Our, our spring sports are um, track for both boys and girls, baseball for boys, softball for girls, and tennis for both boys and girls. So please start making the arrangements now and sign up now. Fill out your paperwork so you can get clear sooner. Do not wait towards the end. Also, just a reminder, when you guys walk home at night after practices or after school, make sure you guys go straight home and, and all do not walk by yourself. If you are possible, walk with a partner or another um, student with you. Just be careful and uh, walk with somebody. Do not walk by yourself, especially after practice. Another message I would like to give out to, um, to you guys, please remind your parents that we're going to have our first uh, parent-principal meeting again uh, January 27 at 6 p.m. And this is where you parents have the opportunity to provide me with suggestions as well as ask questions regarding the school. And, I give, and then as a principal, I will give the opportunity to provide them with an update of what's going on in the school. Okay, and uh, this is it, and have a wonderful semester, and thank you. Uh, I was listening the whole time. <laughs> Let's see what Mahogany has in store for us. Are we, are, are you recording? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I'm Mahogany, Savannah, and welcome to our Super Short Shop. So, we have a surprise guest today. Her name is Dominique. Let's welcome. I didn't even know this. I didn't even know this. Did this just happen? Like, boom! Was this really planned? I'm so confused. Yeah. 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 All right. So today's segment, we're gonna be talking about white shoes. Okay then. On to our next segment. Segment: white tennis right. shoes. So what you can't have is dusty tennis shoes because when you come to school, you need to slay. I can see the boy, I want to say after it, but you need to slay everybody. So if your shoes are dusty, <laughs> be like semi-dusty. 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 But if your shoes are white, boom, you'll be good. And you could slay. And you can walk around and look at all these basic girls and just go, like, <laughs> boom. But now, we have semi-dusty or dusty shoes. You need to fix it. Mine are semi dusty because I was being really nice these past couple of weeks, and so when people stepped on my shoes, I was like, oh, it's okay. But normally, if somebody steps on your white shoes, you gotta be like, no. The Lord knows you do not anyone want anyone to step on your white shoes. So, on to our next segment crowded hallways in the 200 building and lane. <laughs> okay, can we go to that side of the this is rare. Enjoy it while you can, because we all know this is Freshman Central, and it's always full of smelly little freshmen. <laughs> other than the fact that they're always standing in the middle of the hallway trying to hit each other and or hug each other, like if after school is never going to come, and they're never going to see their friend, because their friend's never here, and they're never going to see them. No. You'll see them after school. You'll see them tomorrow. You got Just the next school. four years to see them. Exactly. Yo, tell me what you want, what you want. 
you really, really want? I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. So tell me what you want, what you really, really want. I wanna hot, I wanna hot, I wanna hot, I wanna hot, I wanna really, really, really wanna zig a zig. Ah. How do you want this thing? Wait, why don't you ask the students who went on the University of Advancing Technology field trip? Well, what are you waiting for? Show them in. The thing that I liked the most is that they actually showed you inside of all the rooms and um, what major was going to be taught in which room. And they also have everything modernized, so they're trying to get you know new resources all the time so that everything's updated for any um, any major that you're going to. All right. One thing I liked about the UAT tour is that they say that say that they try to get as many resources as they can for their students, that they always try to keep all of their equipment like near like the newest things and like if whatever you need you could ask for it and then they'll try their best to try and get it if you have a good enough reason and that they always try to help other students as much as they can with whatever they need. What I liked about it was like they have like the own thing set up they have their own computers, like they have they don't share with nothing with anybody around the area. And like the dorms are all separate. Like you only like get to share room like two or two, three people if you want to. And um I advise you guys who like taking computer classes like to like take your time and like go visit because it's really good. Like you get to like you don't have to buy your books, you just have to go check it out at the library. Like you get to like do your own thing, like make your own thing, like you don't have to like get do what the teacher is like telling you to do this, do that. You just have to make your own idea, like make your dreams come true, like brainstorm your ideas, like get them out there, put them out, like everybody see them. You don't have to hide them or anything. Okay, now it's time for my part of the broadcast. Go, 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 go. Here's Oscar and Matthew's crazy time challenge. Hello there. Welcome to Oscar and Matthew's Crazy Challenge Time. This is obviously not Oscar, you can tell that. This is actually Trevante. He doesn't talk at all. Uh, Alright, so let's play here. Today, we got our guests. Right here, we got Ricardo, and right here, we got... Moises? Moises, whatever. Moises. 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 Alright, anything y'all want to say before we do this? No. Got this. Thank Sorry. You. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Alright, all right, let's get to the challenge. This week, this challenge is going to be the Oreo challenge. Here are the rules. You put the Oreo on your forehead. Then, you got one minute to try to get in your mouth without using your hands. I said three minutes. Without hands? One minute. One minute. Okay. But, uh, I kind of changed the rules a little bit. What? Well, you see, if I lose, then notice y'all haven't seen me lose a lot. If I lose this one, I will do the cinnamon challenge. Maybe not like right now, like today, but you know, what? maybe in another video. Let's go. Alright, let's go. Alright, you got time ready? What? Okay, on three. One, two, three, go! <laughs> Your prize is in the mystery book. Mm. Mm. 
Hershey's with almonds. Sometimes that's what we gotta do. Oh, no. All right, thanks guys. Everyone else chocolate. I lost the freaking papers. There they are. Well, congratulations. Join us next time for a new challenge. Next challenge <laughs> will actually be one that you guys pick. If you guys see any of us, uh, mainly me or him or the little woodchuck I usually see, on the street, tell us what's the challenge you want to see us do. All right, bye. Domo arigato, Mr. Roboto. I think he said, let's go to the robotics talk. This year's competition is uh, got a medieval theme. Uh, they have a castle wall that has little windows that we have to throw these boulders in that are being represented by uh, like a Nerf basketball type of uh, boulder. <laughs> and uh, we also have to cross what they call defenses, which are different obstacles that the robot has to traverse. So you need a robot that can man uh, maneuver over uh, eight different types of obstacles. So we're looking at uh, a robot with an articulated suspension, something that can move without the robot taking too much abuse trying to get over these barriers. And once you pass those barriers, then you throw the boulder in. So that's basically uh, the theme. And they can play D on you. So if you're trying to throw the boulder, they can come and ram you or hit you or block you or whatever they want to do. So it should be a lot more exciting than last year's game. But the goal is to try to been, be the uh, Arizona Regional Champions. We've been the champions four times already. Uh, we didn't win last year, so it was four times consecutive up until that point. We'd like to see if we can start that trend again and maybe go on another winning streak. But it's a difficult thing to do. The teams are getting more uh, adept, just like we are. So. Well, we have different departments. We've got a mechanical department, electrical department, fundraising department, PR department, and everybody doing their jobs together makes our team really strong. Uh, none of us can build a robot by ourselves, but together we're like pretty tough. Well, uh, the main thing is to get the kids experienced in all this uh, uh, STEM skills. So if they learn how to do computer-aided drafting, they learn how to do the electrical, they learn how to work as a team, I think that's the main thing that I want to accomplish. And then if we happen to win on top of that, that's the icing on the cake. No. Have you ever heard of Vex? No. Wait, isn't it that innovative tech class that, you know, that little competition that they had on January 30th? Let's check it out then. 20 seconds left, 28 seconds left. We're in track on the end. 20 seconds left. Oh On January 30th, we had our VEX competition out in, uh, out in Chandler, and uh, surprisingly, uh, we did very well. Our VEX teams are both 8477-Alpha and 8477-B, and um, a, was, a surprised us, they finished seventh place out of 28 teams. And then what was really exciting is that uh, our B team was selected uh, to participate with the number one seed. And they, uh, they went to the championship game and they lost the game short and that was exciting as far as how you know they were selected to go to the championship. If they won, they would have qualified for state. And that would have been amazing, but that was, it was a great day. Um, our kids were, our kids were uh, on top of the game. I've never seen them handle pressure situations, and it was exciting. We do have another competition coming up soon. This year's competition, so not necessarily that different. More just technical with gears and everything else. It's just the since last year we didn't really do much work with gears. We did more just of having the robot lift up what we needed. This year we needed to pick up something and throw it. So, 
I think this year is more, how do you say, a bit more difficult, but just watching from this year's competition, looking at other people's robots, it kind of seems easy. Now it's just a matter of building. <laughs> Hopefully this time, this the second, the upcoming competition is a lot easier, or our robot is actually working better. And we don't forget it. <laughs> and yeah, we do have another competition coming up soon. It's, it's, we're gonna have both our robots. Just we need to fix both our flywheel and our our lift that that's gonna pick up the ball. And then that that's what I'm working on right now. And also I'm fixing up the gear ratio for it. Aha! Uh -huh. It's dark. Can somebody turn on the class spotlight? So this is the first year we've offered it. It's called Creating Music Through Technology. And what it does is it gives people the opportunity to have music as part of their day without needing to be in one of our performance or studio classes. So they don't need to learn how to read music or play an instrument. What they would do instead is make music with computers. So we work with iPads and Mac desktops in order to create music. The idea is to allow more students to have music as part of their day and to really make music more accessible for those who really aren't interested in instruments or maybe want to go a different route than performing in front of audiences. So we started out the year learning how to use a program called GarageBand, which is an Apple program that allows students to manipulate sound, work with loops to create pieces. They're also able to record their own sounds and then work with those in the context of the program. Uh, then we went into uh, working with a song that they chose and we wanted to transition the piece from one genre to another. So we're kind of teaching them how to make a little remix and transform a song into another genre. This semester we're working with the correlation between audio and visual. For example, movie soundtracks and video game soundtracks. So we've actually been watching movie clips and playing video games and thinking about how what we're hearing helps us enjoy the experience more. There's actually a second year of the course, and the two years together are designed to give students kind of a broad spectrum of music in terms of production, recording, DJing. They would be able to really produce music themselves at home. So those who are interested in making music or interacting with music as part of their day, but not necessarily going into a music industry career, they would get that experience. However, if students wanted to continue with the elements of this course, they could end up getting DJ gigs, they could go and work sound in theaters or in other venues, they would be able to work in a music recording studio or production company and learn how to mix music and how to record and create songs so that they actually work with record companies. So it could go as far as a career for someone in music. What's wrong? Man, the winter sports season is at its end. And, like, we'll never get to see those players again. Well, let's watch what the basketball players have to say about it. That'd be nice. We had two wins this season. Um, one was against San Luis and then the other against Camelback. And the one against San Luis, it was good. We kept, we kept up our game the whole time. I mean, there was times that we needed to keep going and pushing ourselves more, but... Some people didn't. Um, and then the one against Camelback, it was a close game. We were all like on the edge of our seats on that game. Really intense. And then, um, I don't know. I think the season is cool because we have like three cool coaches. Well, four, Sabrina. <laughs> um, and I don't know, I feel like we're, we're like, they're not so like 
there are coaches, but like we're cool with them. Like we can just chill and laugh with them. And um, I don't know, they make us laugh all the time. There are some, there's some games we could have easily won mm -hmm. if if we got some better calls or the right way, or if we made layups at the last in the last quarter. But um, you know, I, I go. It was promising, and at this point, at the same time, I, I, I as a coach. I could easily see us being at, at this point seven and seven. Um, I was hoping to go and playoffs, but things happened. It didn't help. We lost our, uh, uh, we lost one of our guards. So it is like it's it's amazing. You know we have we have fun with the girls, but we really push them hard. I go. It's if if I was to take before and after pictures of some of the ladies that we have on the team. I mean, they don't look the same. I mean, they brag about all oh, my arms look cut. My legs are cut, my calves are bigger, I lost 40 to 50 pounds. And that's, you know, that's to me that's also a success that the girls are seeing themselves in a more positive light. Then they're like, oh, you know, I can't run, I can't do this. Where now, you know, I have some, a lot of my girls can run, in, you know, back and forth, baseline to baseline, under 12 seconds or less. So that's, that's a good thing. My senior year went by really fast. I, I regret not doing as well as I, I was supposed to be and no one has done. It was good. Coach RG is a strong coach. I really appreciate him teaching me everything that he taught me and give, showing me the way to be an uh, important player and improve in my game. My senior went by fast and I regret it. Being a senior on basketball was like one of the greatest things ever to play with my grandpa and have good friends and family basically to keep keep me going and everything else. And it's a good experience to get to college and everything else and stuff. My senior year on varsity basketball. Hmm. It's it's a good experience to get me ready for college. Teach me teach me a lot about being a captain and always having to play hard. Or is or the game not gonna go the right way if I don't play my hardest. And it's going by really, really fast. I think the season's been a very good season. I think Coach RG Rhymes has done a great job of uh, getting these young men together and forming a good team, and we've had a fantastic year. We celebrated his 700th win this year. Uh, currently, we're fighting for the second spot in the league play. And once again, I just feel that Coach has done a really good year, and the, and the best is yet to come because our best players are sophomores. Join us next time for more Falcon News. Say bye. Go to sleep, y'all. Have a nice Valentine's Day. Alright, so people, as I said before, if I lose the order challenge, I was going to have to do the freaking cinnamon challenge. I like this one. Is that good enough? Okay, that's good now. Come on. Okay. Okay, ready? Set. <coughs> Go. Alright guys, thanks. <laughs> I'll try something else next time. Bye. <laughs>